All right, traders, to watch this video for Monday, May 6th. Um, nice little pop in the SPY, although I think things are going to change tomorrow. So again, I don't want to get mired down in the overall SPY chart here because um, on any overnight situation, anything can happen. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. I'm going to get ready to go into the watch list. I want to slide this over from Friday for those of you that couldn't make it to the chat room on Friday. Um, it took a, a screenshot here. ZIXI, perfect little gap play showing you right there. You see two minute candles, gaps up, sellers come in. Then we get this little tight range right below that whole number 10. You know we love whole number inflection points, but not whole numbers by themselves. In this case, we had a gap play. We had the high of day like, I don't know, 10 cents above or something. So the whole number 10 here with that seller on the tape, knowing a high of day break where sellers are in trouble is just above. That's what we call stat catalyst. 10 broke, by the way, Wayne called this ahead of time um, from our gap playlist. It was really coiling nicely right below 10. Um, so the break of 10, it ends up closing up over 11. And you can see as we like, right after the entry, pretty much green right away. Those are the entries we live for. Takes all of the guesswork out of uh, whether or not you're in trouble, right? I love being green right away. Um, excellent call by Wayne. Let's get into, well, before I get into the watch list for Monday, um, just a quick heads up. I, it's 11.21 Eastern Time on Sunday night. And just glancing at CNBC.com because the futures were tanking. Um, the headline says Chinese markets plunge more than 5% as U.S.-China trade tensions escalate. Another headline says China is considering canceling this week's trade talks after Trump's tariff threat, sources say. Dow futures dropped more than 450 points on that and so on. So um, who knows by the time we wake up in the morning what's going to happen, but um, suffice it to say, this is one of those times when it makes me proud to be in cash every night. And then we will just trade them as we see them as the market uh, trading day unfolds on Monday, right? So anyway, what am I watching? And again, I always feel a little silly because maybe if the market does tank, um, none of these charts will matter, but um, you know, we'll play them on a case by case basis, right? Zixi, Z-I-X-I. Um, just showed you that one as far as Wayne's call on Friday. It closed so strong. It's a nice breakout, strong close. There's a daily chart. Anytime you have a move like that on that kind of relative volume, you want to watch it the next day. RBZ, I'm not going to go into any detail on this one. I don't love it, but we've been watching it every day and uh, we'll see if it gives any kind of setup. It's kind of an ugly daily chart, but sometimes it gets moving. Um, to me, I've been watching it trade for a few days and it's been trading pretty heavy. So probably my least favorite one on the list. EVLV, really nice volume on Friday. Um, closing well off of its highs, but still this is one to watch. I'm not a huge fan of the stocks that are under a buck, but uh, maybe we get a clean red to green or something like that in it. M-A-X-R. <laughs> if you weren't in chat, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. M-A-X-R, this one did give a really nice setup in the morning as a gap play, and I totally didn't see it. But here's the daily and we end up with a big volume day and a strong breakout of this like two month range and a strong close, relatively speaking. So we definitely want to watch that one. Um, CBLK, another one, kind of a nice breakout out of probably two months range and a fairly strong close, well off its highs. But whenever I see a chart like this with high relative volume and a decent close and the 200 day not far away, a lot of times that 200 day can become a magnet. So I want to, I do like that a lot that the 200 days above there and that big relative volume. So this is a, certainly a worthwhile one to have on the chart. ABIO after this monster move on the, the day I'm hovering over here, it went from 521 to 1288. And then the very next morning gaps up and hits um, almost 21 bucks. So it went to 2045 ish right here. So then a big sell off and then another red day right back down to almost where it closed after the first big day. So again, I don't know who's winning here, um, bulls or bears, you know, it's kind of in the middle of its range, but it's a good candidate for a potential turn back up with a proper intraday setup. So as a day trader, I've got to have that on watch. Pinterest, huge move out of the gates when it IPO'd, um, I don't know, six, seven days in a row. Now we're four days down in a row, declining volume, um, certainly one to watch for a nice turn back up, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, JMIA. Also kind of a recent high flyer, recent IPO, huge move. Then it uh, puts in a higher low, a lower high. Now we've got a couple days down in a row. Um, pretty decent inflection point trader too. So let's keep our eyes on JMIA, PRPO, another one that just made a massive move. In two days, I'm hovering over this here, it went from 451 to almost 11, 
um, I'm sorry, three days, one, two, three days. And now, uh, you know, it kind of reversed on Thursday and then Friday sold off again. Um, just another one, as a day trader, if I don't have something like PRPO with moves like that on my watch list, I'm doing it wrong, right? SLGG, recent IPO, the name of the company, Super League Gaming. I can't even believe that company's public. Again, I'm not taking a shot. I just, who would have ever thought, you know, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, there would be such a thing as professional video gaming. I think it's super cool though, um, but I have no idea about the company. Uh, but I do like the fact that it had massive volume, uh, biggest volume day it ever had except for opening day. So could catch some attention, plus topped out at exactly a half number, which it also topped out here. Uh, topped out at here. So certainly interesting over 850. I would like to see it go sideways for a few days and then break 850. We might have a runner on our hands, but uh, anyway, it'll, it'll land on a chart tomorrow. A couple more, IDRA, nice breakout, nice relative volume for this stock. Um, if you weren't in chat on Friday, I literally see the very bottom of this candle. The very bottom of this candle was 346. I had a bid in at 346 and went uh, to go make a smoothie or something. Came back and found out I got filled 17 shares at 346. So I don't know if that makes me look good, like, hey, I picked the bottom clean, or it makes me look stupid because what the hell are you gonna do with 17 shares? But anyway, um, with this kind of breakout here, I do wanna watch it again on, uh, on Monday. And then lastly, ROAN, with this big volume spike here, it's really just coiling and not nice tight flag. So we're gonna watch that one too. Uh, be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Let's uh, show up with our game faces on and make sure that we only trade A plus setups. I'm done babbling. See everybody on Monday.